I'm going to show you uh, some little known history in Southeast DC on 25th Street. It was right here on the corner of Alabama Avenue and 25th Street that's now on the back of Stanton Elementary School. But before it was a football field, it was residential. This corner of 25th Street was lined with houses, 40 housing units in all. This small development was built strictly for white national government defense workers and their families in 1944. The Alley Dwelling Authority and the Federal Works Agency funded the construction of these houses. The houses were strictly temporary because they were classified as demountable meaning that they were intended to be taken down sometime after the war ended. The Alley Dwelling Authority was one of the earliest New Deal initiatives to provide better housing for low-income Americans. It replaced the unsafe alley dwellings in DC with more modern and affordable houses and apartments. Did you notice the water tower in the background? The Alley Dwelling Authority existed from 1934 to 1943 as a federally controlled special authority. This agency slowly evolved into what we know as today's DC's Housing Authority, an independent agency of the DC government. The Federal Works Agency ended in 1949 and its successor is the General Services Administration. Because of World War II, the Alley Dwelling Authority was enlisted to work alongside with the Federal Works Agency to provide housing for government defense workers. The 25th Street Houses were one of those projects. Another temporary housing project was the 21st Street Houses. Unfortunately, there isn't a photo associated with the 21st Street Houses, but this article did mention the location coordinates and they brought us here to 21st Street and 8th Street Northeast. These houses were built for the black government national defense workers and their families. The 36 temporary housing units were built in 1943 and they were right across the street from the Langston dwellings. The Langston dwellings were built in 1938 and were exclusively built for black families because DC was still segregated at that time. So the 21st Street houses were considered to be put in the perfect place. For any DC resident familiar with Alabama Avenue, the houses across the street from Stanton Elementary School are now being renovated. They were empty and abandoned for years. Well, now there's good news. They are going up for sale. I'm Dickie D, your DC tour guide, and I will see you around Washington.